Shelley in Shock, written by Sarah Lakey, retold by Mrs. Townley with permission from Emotional Logic. The sun shimmered over the savannah as Shelley the tortoise sat under the cooling shade of her favourite tree, right next to her favourite yellow flowers. She watched her friends play with a huge happy smile spreading across her face. Monty the monkey zoomed around all of the other animals playing chase. While Shelley was in her happy place by the tree, she was happy not joining in because she preferred to be at tortoise speed, slow or completely stopped. Shelley rested, Shelley watched, Shelley dozed, Shelley smiled. Shelley breathed in the delicious sweet scent of the beautiful bright flowers when Bzzz! Ouch! Bzzz! Oh no! What happened? Oh no! A large buzzing bee had landed on Shelley's nose. With a zing and a ding, she felt the sting. Shelley immediately hid in her shell. She couldn't think what to do. Her nose turned from pink to red to swollen. Her friends didn't see. They were too busy playing. Shelley began to tremble and shake. She could hear her friends laughing and playing. They were so near, but they felt so far away. Shelley felt so alone, so small. Plop! Huge tears rolled down from her eyes to her sore red nose. When anything surprised Shelley, she would always take fright and hide in her shell. But then she missed out on all of the fun. The warm sunlit sky began to change and deepen to rich reds and pinks. Soon her friends left for home. Bye Shelley! Night night, they all called. The animals thought she must be fast asleep because they didn't hear her little voice stutter out. P -p -p Please help me! Shelley wasn't sleeping at all. In fact, she was lonely and worried. She wanted to be with her friends. Shelley thought back to earlier that day. What if there's a bee out there waiting for me? Will my nose always hurt now? What should I do? Should I stay in my shell? What if my nose stays red forever? The next day, the sun rose high in the sky and all the animals came out to play. But Shelley was still inside her shell, still worrying, still filled with fear. But then she had an amazing idea. I'll live in my shell forever. Then I'll be safe. The outside world is too dangerous for me. But then she realised what that would mean. Oh no, she thought. No fun, no friends, that won't do at all because I'll never get to see my friends again or play with them or sit by my favourite flowers or it seemed hopeless. She didn't know what to do. Zora the zebra, Monty the monkey and Ollie the ostrich all tried to encourage Shelley out to play. They became worried too. They tried to persuade her out with juicy leaves, yellow flowers and even Monty's bananas. But nothing helped her to stop being frightened. Shelley remained in her shell. Zora hated seeing her friend so sad. She thought for a while and then suggested, let's get Lissimba. He'll know exactly what to do. Great idea, agreed Ollie, who hurried off into the bush on his long legs in search of Lissimba, the friendly lion. As soon as he heard the news, Lysimba came. He was brave, strong and wise. He was the king of the savannah after all. Monty leaped up and down in the air as he exclaimed to Lysimba, Oh my gosh, can you believe it Lysimba? She's been in her shell since yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon! She won't come out to play, said Ollie Ostrich. She won't even sit by her favourite flowers, said Zora. Hmm, murmured Lysimba. Sounds like shock to me. Oh no, oh no, this isn't good, cried Ollie. 
I wonder if she's hiding from something, continued Lucimba. She probably feels safer in her shell, but now she doesn't know what to do next. That sounds bad, said Zora. Oh, really bad. Well, friends, I know it sounds bad and it definitely feels bad, but shock can be really useful too. Lucimba looked at the puzzled faces around Shelley. He knew he needed to explain. You see, when you have a feeling deep inside that makes you think, what should I do? Help, I can't do this. It means you should stop. Shock feelings mean something really important is happening. Right at that moment, you must find a safe place to have a really good think. A place where you can work it all out. Shelley has found a safe place, but she hasn't really started to think yet. Perhaps she could find a kind friend or a safe grown-up to tell them what happened. Then perhaps they could plan together what to do to move on from the safe place. During all of this, Shelley quietly listened from deep within her shell. Hearing the Simba's voice, she started to think. Maybe I could do something just a little bit risky. She carefully peeped her nose out of her shell. Feeling braver now, Shelley peeped out a little further until she could look straight at Lucimba. It's okay, Shelley, encouraged Lucimba. Whatever shocked you must be far away by now. Oh no, oh my, exclaimed Ollie. What's that on the end of your nose? I was stung by a bee, wailed Shelley. I didn't know what to do. I didn't feel safe, so I hid in my shell. That helped for a little while, but hiding didn't solve the problem at all. Lucimba tapped Shelley's shell. That is a great place to think more clearly. Shelley, in there you could ask yourself a very important question. When I felt shocked, what was I upset that I'd lost? When you can answer that question, explained Lucimba, you can plan what you could do next to move on. If you don't ask that question, you will end up feeling stuck. Shelley gazed from one friend to another and feeling safe, safe with them, it all came tumbling out. I lost my happy day, my favourite tree, feeling safe, my friends to play with, my healthy nose. Oh, that's so many things to lose, Shelley cried as she flopped down and immediately disappeared into her shell again. All the animals looked worried as they turned away from Lucimba to look at the silent shell. It's all right, Shelley, soothed Lucimba. It's fine to feel upset, but now you have named what you've lost. You can make a plan to get one thing back. Make a plan? Make a plan? asked Monty, bobbing from side to side. Lucimba bent down to where Shelley's head had been. His deep voice echoed inside her shell. Come on, Shelley, choose just one thing that you've lost that you can get back. Shelley peeped out once more. Just one. All the animals, even Monty, sat still with puzzled faces and looked back at Lucimba. Just one, their faces seemed to say. Lucimba nodded. Shelley popped her head out of her shell in surprise. Yes, said Lucimba, very wisely. Just one first and then some of the others next. I, my, my sunny day, stuttered Shelley. I want to get back my sunny day. I could go and sit by the trees next to the cool river. There are not so many bees there. All the friends suddenly cheered. What a fantastic idea, said Zora. We could come and play there too. Shelley beamed and began to walk slowly towards the river. Thank you for talking to me, Lucimba, she said as she passed by his great paws. Wonderful, wonderful, roared Lucimba. When you choose to get things back, you'll start to feel better again. Shelley stretched her legs out even further as she walked more and more confidently towards the river bank. Oh, wow, I chose to get back my sunny day. And now I've got my friends back too, and a place to play, and a chance to doze, and somewhere cool for my nose. 
as Shelley approached, Terry the tortoise was sitting by the river bank. Hi, Shelley, Terry called. What a lovely surprise to see you today. Shelley played Bump the Shells with Terry. She had an amazing time by the river bank. As the sun set, Shelley settled down to sleep in her shell. She remembered all that she had learned. Her shock had been useful to get her to her safe place, but now she knew how to plan there too and how to move on again. The Simba had made even taking little risks feel safer. Shelley's special friends had encouraged her too. She drifted off to sleep, looking forward to more fun the next day. Things to think about. Lucimba said that Shelley's shell was a safe place to have a really good think. Where would you go to have a really good think? Number two, who could you talk to? Who could help you to make a plan to get life moving again? And number three, what did Shelley also get back when she acted on her plan to get just one thing back? The end. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Thank you to the Emotional Logic Centre for allowing us to use that. You can find out more about the Emotional Logic Centre by visiting their website at www.emotionallogiccentre.org.uk. They also have a Facebook page and that is facebook.com forward slash EL Centre UK. And they do also have a YouTube page, which is which you can find by searching for Emotional Logic. All of these links will be posted below. And as always, please do subscribe to my channel. And you can also find my Facebook page on Facebook under Storytime with Mrs. Townley. I look forward to seeing you all. Thank you. Bye.